Could you tell us how you viewed your team's performance tonight, please? Well, the analysis is clear. The better team won the game. Um, they were probably at their best, especially in the first half, and we were nowhere near our level. And when that happens, the, the gap becomes too big. And um, in the first 30 minutes, all the basic things that you have to do against an exceptional team uh, in terms of competing, in terms of win doers, in terms of understanding what the game requires, um, we didn't do it and, and we got punished and we could have been punished even more. I know you never give up on the Premier League, especially while you're still top, but Opta's stats model has City now 92% chance of winning. How do you see the title race from here? And I cannot fill in the stats because the stats are at the start of the season that Arsenal was going to finish 6th or 7th. Uh, and we are where we are with five games to go. And uh, and those players deserve a lot of credit to be nine and a half months against this team being where we are. And there's still five games to play. Five. And I've been almost 22 years in this country. I've seen a lot of things. And I know how much it shifts from game to game. There are not two equal games in this league. And uh, first of all, we have to lift our players because they suffered tonight. And they played against an exceptional team. They know that. Um, but we are an exceptional team as well. But today we were in other races uh, at the level that it was required to win the game. James? Mikel, do you think the gulf between City and the rest of the Premier League is such that the only way anyone else can win a title is if City have an off year? I don't know the answer to that. We've been nine and a half months here. So you lost today and, uh, and you have to accept that we lost in a very different way at the Emirates. Um, today, the quality and the performance was um, very far one team from the other. I prefer to give that to my players, but um, they were better in every department, they were better. They were more aggressive, they kept the ball better, they won every single duel, we had them in the corners. And from there, in two passes, they were in front of our goal. Um, we conceded in a set play. We conceded in a throw in against us too easily um, in everything. They deserve to win the game because they were better. Um, hi, Mikael. I was just wondering, going into this game, were you tempted at all to maybe change your approach to, to maybe deal with City's um, kind of threats? Or did you just want to go with what's got you to this point so far this season? Uh, we, we wanted to tweak a few things, especially there, but um, when they're able to execute and they score an early goal as well, then and you have to understand where we're coming from. We have to be loyal to what it has brought us all this way, uh, because we've done it in the past as well, in, in different ways, and that doesn't guarantee you anything. Um, but it's time as well to look in the mirror, what we could have done better, different, me the first one, and um, I'm going to the next game, that's for sure. Hi, Mikhail. Um did your players freeze tonight? Freeze? Yeah, did they be a bit too scared to perform how, how they, they I can? I don't think should. they were scared, but obviously the way that we started the game, it didn't help at all because we put uh, ourselves in trouble in many situations and, um, and we lost all the races, we lost all the first, second balls. And, and when that happens, they started to have vertical attack, open spaces to attack, and, and that created an, an uncertainty. We could not grab the game the way we wanted. Um, and that's great to them as well because they were really good. But but why is that? Surely, if there was one game where you'd think they'd be, want to fight for everything, win the duels, you know, be really up for it, it'd be this. Yeah, one. It's very easy to say that here, but at the end, that's when you have when you have to play um, against that team and that team plays at their best, that probably I've seen, then it's extremely difficult to do that. Two more over here. Hi, Mikael. Uh, there's always a lesson, especially in a defeat. Uh, what is the lesson uh, after this game? First of all, accept the reality, and that's the best way to move forward. Accept that today they were better than us, that they deserve to win the game, that uh, we never had a chance to win the game, and that we have to improve and be better and be humble enough to accept that. And in sport, you have to do that. You want to be better. Uh, your cap captain, uh, Odegaard, also said that uh, you were far away from your best level on this uh, evening. Uh, just how disappointing is it that uh, you showed this on an important night like tonight? 
very. Uh, we knew that we were going to need uh, our best as a team and individually. Uh, when it comes here at the end, uh, the individual performance dictates. You know, individually you have to be at your best, and you need 11 players doing that. Um, and today we were far from them. Last one, James. Hi, Mikel. Um, you've got five games left. Do you think you have to win them all to have a chance of winning the league? I don't know what is going to be required. For sure, what we have to do first lift the players up because they suffer tonight, and it was a difficult one to to swallow and, and lift them up tomorrow and get doing everything that we've done so far so well uh, in the next match to earn the right to win it. That's where we have to start right now. Five wins would get you to 90 points, which has been a bit of a benchmark. Do you think you're going to need to get there? I think so. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.